of 2 minutes for 6 pm batch one statement after that i'll start it uh, the statement is summary of threading concept in core java thread definition thread creation types of thread creations <coughs> thread synchronization process <laughs> mutual exclusion process thread communication process under mutual exclusion we had synchronized block which is object locking process synchronized method which is <clears throat> instance method locking process static synchronization which is class locking process locking process thread communication here we concentrated on methods general methods one is wait <clears throat> one is notify and notify all so these are the major parts major parts under threading yesterday we applied the lock also for uh, i'm speaking to 6 pm batch for two minutes 6 pm yesterday we applied a locks already yesterday the lock is applied this is a lock yesterday two threads are communication with the locks <clears throat> so this is uh, synchronized uh, sorry uh, thread communication yesterday <clears throat> where locks are applied
the locks. <clears throat> right anyway yesterday evening uh, we applied a lock and these are the summary i'll attach the notes to you practice ones okay right i'll attach one extra document under threads under your notes okay right today sunday class is separately uh, star mark imp today's class is io streams and files today's concept is io streams and files this topic is for sunday topic for today io streams and files right so fundamental known definitions make it define stream the continuous flow of data is known as stream the continuous flow of data is known as a stream the continuous flow of data is known as a stream <clears throat> types of streams streams in java are categorized into two types one binary stream you can say byte stream actually in bracket you write binary stream character stream streams in java are categorized into two types byte stream and character stream two types stream means flow flow of data indirectly why specially we are having discussion on streams means multimedia data flow sending images sending audio files video files that kind of work we call it as a stream actually that uh, audio file video file is nothing but files only no so the com combination is io stream and file knowing the stream definition and how java program interacts with file storage that only this concept so before that stream normal definition is flow of data continuous flow of data we call it as a stream the streams in java categorize two types byte stream and character stream byte means 8 bit flow character means 16 bit flow so make it byte stream byte stream the continuous flow of data in the form of 8 bits the continuous flow of data 
in the form of 8 bits is known as byte stream or binary stream byte stream or binary stream the continuous flow of data in the form of 8 bits is known as byte stream or binary stream means 8 bit 8 bit flow will come like this see there suppose suppose i had one photograph here imagine one photograph any one photograph some images only one photograph is there with me so dd dot jpg one file is there dd dot jpg one file one file the size of this file now 101kb size of this file is 101kb 101kb means almost 104 138 bytes so this is the size actually this is the size in KB and in bytes. This is the size. Now I want to send this photograph to one location. I want to send this photograph to one location. Location means storing somewhere. I must store somewhere or I must move on the network to remote location daily you are uploading your images no so your whatsapp groups and uh, any other chat relations uh, related things or you are sending or attaching files to your mails also they are all streams only so here i must send this in the form of a stream i must send this one in the form of a stream i must send it I must send this photograph in the form of a stream. I can send it. So two options are there for us. I can send this in the form of byte stream or binary stream. Anyone. I can send in byte stream. I can send in binary stream. Anyone. I can send it. What? Oh, okay, character stream, byte stream or character stream. This is character. Character stream. So byte stream means 8-bit flow. And character means 16-bit flow. That only meaning. So Java supports only two flows. Whether you can send 8-bit, 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 eight eight you can send. If not, 16-bit, 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 you can send. So working with multimedia data is nothing but a stream. That's a concept. So this photograph I can send to one location. I can send it. This photograph I can send to one location. This one. This is the size. 
101 kb this is the this is a file i can move it generally i can move to one location so any one location i can attach this to some location i can attach whenever i want to attach this through java application java supports two types of streams that is the information to you okay right now with this information continuous flow of data in the form of 8 bits we call it as byte stream speciality of byte stream is through byte stream we can send text audio video image and animation means all multimedia files you can send it all multimedia files you can send in the form of binary stream the statement through byte stream through byte stream we can send we can send text audio video image and animation files you can send audio video image and animation files you can send it so byte stream advantage is support all data formats means all multimedia files all multi media files you can send it through byte stream we can send text audio video image and animation files whatever the multimedia files available all you can send through binary stream that's the information now character stream means 16 bit flow the continuous the continuous flow of data in the form of 16 bits is known as character stream or you can say text stream you can say text stream character stream or you can say text stream you can say the continuous flow of data in the form of 16 bits is known as character stream or text stream so character stream character stream is preferable for text data and not preferable not preferable for audio video image and animation files character stream is preferable for text data and not preferable for audio video image and animation okay right so the concept is like this finally the concept is i had some multimedia files some multimedia files multimedia files means text audio video image animation this five types we call it as multimedia files generally whenever i want to send this multimedia files for you two options are there you can send through byte stream or you can send through character stream two options so byte stream supports all files byte stream supports all files character stream is the best for text data this one you must not send it sir if i send what happened data loss may come data loss may come that only not preferable you can send it 
but not preferable in real time we are not using character stream to send your multimedia data multimedia data means audio video image animation and text this five together we called as multimedia data files so theory now these are the streams we had it now comes define file storage define file storage define file storage the smallest the smallest permanent storage of computer system the smallest permanent storage of computer system which is which is managed by which is managed by operating system the smallest permanent storage of computer system which is managed by operating system is known as is known as file storage the smallest permanent storage of computer system which is managed by operating system is known as file storage managed by operating system meaning is nothing but the file storage is under the control of operating system operating system will have file structure operating system will have file management these two are under os so simply note you can say not note and in bracket operating system will have file structure file structure and file management both are under the control of os os only will do file structuring and file management done by os it is a part of operating system it is a inbuilt to operating system the smallest permanent storage of computer system which is managed by operating system is known as file storage so finally today sir our computer system is there anyway this is one original machine this is one jvm java virtual machine in between this two one os will be there one operating system will be there in between we had operating system is available now our java program is here or our java program or java application our java program is here so file storage is here this is file storage file storage means part of machine 
This is file storage part of machine. My Java program want to communicate with this file. My Java program want to communicate. Maybe opening the file, writing the data. If not opening the file, reading the data. Some actions I must do with the file storage. So this is the two-way action it can do. The, the actions it can do. The actions. Now, whenever we want to link one Java program to file storage, when we want to link one Java program to file storage, the rule, our Java program, our Java program must be constructed using classes and interfaces available from java.io package. So java.io package will provide some classes and interfaces. Using that classes and interfaces, we construct this Java program. Then the Java program will communicate with the file. That's the rule. So the statement is note. In the process, in the process of establishing communication between Java program and file storage. In the process of establishing communication between Java program and file storage, comma, the Java program, the Java program must be constructed, must be constructed using classes and interfaces, must be constructed using classes and interfaces in the process of establishing communication between java program and file storage the java program must be constructed using classes and interfaces available from available from in the process of establishing communication between java program and file storage the Java program must be constructed using classes and interfaces available from java.io package. Java.io package. So today's session is opening java.io package and bringing some classes outside. The classes will support you to communicate with file. That's only our class. That's all. Whenever you want to communicate with the keyboard, you took scanner class, no? Scanner class not there means you are not communicating with the console. The same way today, if you want to communicate with one file storage, some classes and interfaces will support you. That classes and interfaces available from IO package. Today, we are showing that classes related available from java.io help this Java developer to communicate with the file. That's all I'm going to do. Got it right. So this diagram is pasted there. The diagram layout is pasted. This layout. Now here, Java program, here it is putting one arrow outside or not now? Arrow outside now. Java program putting an arrow. When the Java program writing the data to file, means Java program sending the data to file. Java program sending the data to file. That we call it as output stream by terminology. This is output stream. We call it as output stream. Means Java program is sending the data outside onto file. Means out of Java program to file. We call it as output stream. Now the data is coming into Java program. We call it as input stream. We call it as input stream. So this is output stream. 
this is input to stream that only io stream and file chapter that only from the files communicating with java program the stream is input stream or output stream io streams and files that only chapter name so giving information to student after this file chapter database chapter actually file storage replace with database storage that only next level so but uh, some students attending database and came here reversely but actual sequence is file then database we are communicating with the file make it here two terms are available in this diagram if anybody asked faq define input stream if anybody asked define input stream java program reading the data from file is known as input to stream in this process data coming into java program make a statement java program java program reading the data from the file storage from the file storage is known as input stream is known as input stream is known as input stream java program reading the data from the file storage is known as input stream which means which means the data coming coming into java program coming into java program it is coming into java program define output to stream define output to stream java program java program writing the data to file storage file storage is known as output stream output stream output stream which means the data going out of out of java program going out of java program so these are the terms now let us write one program or some classes related to binary stream some classes related to character stream some important classes related to binary stream nothing but byte stream some important classes related to your character stream make it the following are the following are some classes related to binary binary stream nothing but byte stream binary stream data some classes related to binary stream data file input one minute file input stream file input stream file output stream file input stream file output stream mm -hmm. 
data input to stream data output to stream first two are important file input stream file output stream make a statement file input stream class is from java.io package and which is used to find the file and opens the file to read binary stream data file input stream class is from java.io package and which is used to which is used to find the file means searches the file and opens the file to read binary stream data to read binary stream data to read binary stream data now syntax file input file input to stream fis is equal to a new file input stream of you can give file path with the file name so file input stream is nothing but finding the file and opening the file whenever it want to find the file and open the file now we have to give the file path where it is available c drive d drive f drive where it is available and what is the name of it that's called file input stream see there uh, file input stream this one is nothing but this one only see there i want to compose one mail here click on compose i want to send one mail to some hr naresh it i want to send one file to some hi right here one attach file is there no right whenever you want to attach the file you must give the file path and file name no yes or no na that is file input stream only background the class is file input stream in gmail account the session track is cookie servlet programming in the third week the tracking will come cookie session tracking that is to gmail so running with java session tracking cookie here there is file input stream only show the file to me click on it i must give the path or not now file name and file path should be given no i must select it which file suppose i am selecting some file i don't have file i think this is the file i am selecting no some file after selecting the file here i click on open see all of you their size will come here can you see 101 kb size now the 
it it found the file it checked the length and it attached understood now if i click on send now if i click on send actually file not available there for your kind information file not available there file is in the original location only link is available link only available link all of understood data not example bottle is in this c drive i i selected bottle it's it checks the capacity and display to you bottle not available here bottle there only it is showing that the capacity one one liter that's all if i click on send then the bottle will come understood now the data is there only it will not come whenever i send send only the data will come understood this point now that that's called streaming now that will not if i move that what happened duplicate copy will come here one not work one not one kb here one not one kb will come waste of memory or not now so link file input stream says that i will find it i will open it for reading if you want to read it the data is there only i'll show to you that's called file input stream very important and daily or today morning you kept a good morning message no that also file input stream only so when the festival is coming this many messages will go or not now in whatsapp group selecting sending that's called file input stream file output stream if i click on send file output stream going out going out means another location is going on traveling on the network or not now that's a concept so file input stream these two classes are crucial core java giving information about the core components fundamental information should be given that's called core java application not available in core java project not available in core java only component information is available so this knowledge where i should keep it sir all are going to html no going or not going or in html you had a form tags and n number of tags are there no you are reading the image or not not no so this is image only no this also one html format only no right there you have to learn it background one database is there no in database blob and club data type is there no oracle trainer will teach blob and club two data types var cap number like this he had a data type known as blob and club blob means binary large object club means character large object our images only after learning that you will come to server program in server program daily or uploading resumes photographs are not now so that all three together you have to meet it so whenever the servlet programmer or server programmer want to know what it is fundamental things you must know no that fundamental things are available in core java fundamental things are available in core java so this is input stream example i shown to you that will i written one line here file input stream class is from where java.io package which is used to find one file you are giving the path or not now it finds one file after that it supports you to read the data from that location what is the syntax i must use it now file input stream fis is equal to new file input stream give the file path and file name the same way if i click on if i click on send the data is going outside or not now file output stream right so file output stream is having one feature here file output stream will create a new file also if i say file output stream text dot txt it only create a file directly if you give one name it only creates a new file to you make it file output stream file output stream f o a sorry file output stream class is from java dot java dot io package and which is used to used to create new file so file output stream class is from java dot io package 
and which is used to create new file new file and write binary stream data and and writes binary stream data which supports for writing binary stream data file output stream class is from java.io package and which is used to create new file and writes binary stream data and writes binary stream data now the syntax is same now again syntax file output to stream file output to stream f o s is equal to new file output stream output stream here file path and file name so whenever you are creating a new file you must say where that file should be created where that file should be created you must say file path with what name you must create it that's called file name the two classes are crucial things now data input to stream actually these two components will support networking actually is to our networking when the data is coming from remote locations so data input stream accepting the data data output stream sending the data on the networks actually data input stream is from java.io package and which is used to read data from read data from source the source can be network or any other read from source syntax data input stream dis is equal to new data input stream of source you want to send the data to one destination location you can say data output stream data output stream is from java dot io package and which is used to send the data to some destination destination means some location the syntax data output stream dos is equal to new data output stream of some destination so these are the files for reading purpose i given data input stream so we use in the networking format that is now using file output stream and file input stream let me write one small program to you one small program example program uh, example program copying the file from one location to another location i am going to copy the file from one location to another location copying the file from one location to another location so like this
like this. Now here, already the file is there. Look here. So I had a file. Images. I had one file here. Okay. Right. So in the D drive, Suppose this is one machine. This is one machine. This is one machine. So in this machine now, I had one file. DD dot JPG. I had one file. In D drive images, I had one file. One file is there. In D drive, one file is there. I want to move to E drive. I want to copy this file to E drive. I must copy this file to E drive. Images. This is empty here. I must copy the file to here. In E drive, images one folder is there. I must copy the file to this location. So that only with the program I must do. That only concept. Okay, right. Copying the file from D drive to E drive. That's a program. I'll use file input stream, file output stream to send the data from D drive to E drive. That's a coding, right? So I'm starting here the program. I am taking one Java project. So file storage. Here one package is there. M axis. Yes. Under this M axis, I'm taking one file. Demo file one. I'm taking. Right, look here. Import java.io. Day we are working with IO package. We are working. Import Java dot util for scanner. This is actually okay. Right. So 
scanner class is there no rest emptying catch exception if i write like this all the exceptions will be under the control of exception no issue right okay now i am taking scanner s is equal to new scanner of system in s not to close i am writing manual code anyway now here enter the file path and file name so system dot out dot print ln enter the file path and file name nothing but to source source means where that file is available now file f is equal to f1 is equal to new file of s dot next line so here one file class already there java dot io dot file one class is there that class object will hold the path actually right so this line this line meaning is nothing but that line meaning is one file object is created one file object is created some 0x111 one file object is created the file object is loaded with loaded with this path this object is loaded with this path that object loaded with the path here some messages are there sorry some files are, some files will be there not files sorry some methods will be there now this reference will be available on f1 so don't be confused the object is holding the location of a file where that file is available the location is available there okay right now here i can say one if condition f1 dot exists system dot out print ln invalid file path or file name suppose your file path and file name you are not entering correctly this will say file not available so f1 dot exist one method is there it is going to cross check the file is available there or not if it is not available it say invalid file path and file name if it is available if it is available file input stream file input to stream fis is equal to new 
file input stream of f1 now this file input stream class will take this f1 f1 means a path so by taking this path now this file input stream here constructor call this is yes or no now this constructor means method running in the background to object creation this method nothing but constructor will take f1 f1 means file path and file name after taping taking the file path and file name it goes to d drive it goes to images dd.jpg and link that to file it goes there and link the file means one object link to the file this file is linked this file is linked that's called link just now i showed no attach file from gmail it is showing 101 kb no that indicates i linked i linked mean the file i observed in the background it is available i established one link if you want you can read it so link is established link the link we are showing in the form of pipe why means a stream for scanner class also i shown a pipe to you when the data flow is there that is pipe okay right now that file input stream class will take this f1 in the f1 file path file name is there it goes and finds and links that's the meaning so imagine it one link is available imagine it that is f i s when the link is available no anyway right okay now f i s dot close in the last that is now enter system dot out dot print ln enter 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 the file path and file name for destination destination means where you want to copy it now file input stream link and ready no right now i must send the data to one location or not now say that location to me i'll send it that's the meaning of it now destination here also file f2 is equal to new file of s dot next line now here also one file object created to hold the path so where i should hold it now sir in a drive images i want to copy here i'll give the path i want to copy here a drive images here i want to copy the file with tt.jpg roughly i am giving one name now i want to copy this file in the form of tt.jpg so what happened now here also one file object is created now 0x33 one file object created because the file object should hold the information first the file object should hold the information some methods we are not highlighting this is f2 this is f2 f2 now using this f2 i will say file output stream fos is equal to new file output stream of f2 now file output stream will create a new file here file output stream which is used to create a new file 
file output to stream. Now this file output stream will take F2. F2 means a file path. Now one object is created here. File output stream object is created here. Now this file output stream object, here one constructor is there, the constructor call. Now this constructor will run in the background. What this constructor will do now? This constructor will take that file path, go to A drive, go to images and create one file. Create one file here with name, with name tt dot, tt dot jpg. The file is 0 KB. Initially, it comes with 0 KB, no data. And this is linked here. The file is linked. The data is linked. There's a point. Now, here, this is available on FOS available on FOS. FOS. Now, this is empty file actually, not full file. Because data is there only, we must transfer the data. Just links are established, now you transfer the data. Whenever you want to transfer the data now, here. This is FOS dot close in the last. Whenever you want to transfer the data, take one variable, int k, one integer variable, run one while loop. Because 101 kb, you know, end of loop. Loop means more. 101 kb, I must send it. Now here, k is equal to fis dot read which is not equal to minus one. Now, this read method will read byte by byte it reads and write the data to FOS dot write of K. So, this loop meaning is like this. I am taking one K variable here. I am taking one K variable here k variable here. I am taking the data from here. The data is coming out. The data will come and load here. That only f i s dot read. One byte data is taken. This byte data I am writing here. That only FOS dot write of K. I am writing the K. Now the data will be loaded here. The concept. Now the loop runs continuously for 101 KB. Means Almost 104, 138 bytes will move. After all the bytes transferring completed, it becomes minus 1. Minus 1 means according to Java, end of file. The file data has been ended. That's called minus 1. Whenever it reaches minus 1 now, the data transferred successfully. Now that's the concept. Now let me check it, the data is transferring or not. After transferring has been completed, you have to disconnect them, no, all, are, all should be disconnected. S dot to close, FIS dot close, because all are connected down or not now, they should be closed. So all are closed. So if it is successfully running without any disturbance, you can say file copied successfully, system dot out dot print ln, you can say file copied success.
just for me you can say which message came means this message came means automatically this message came means without any disturbance file copied successfully now let us see images of e drive it is empty now the data is in e drive actually that is images here this is the data now i must copy it i am running the program enter the file path file name this is the file path first time as copy from here no because i copied there and i kept it you copy the data of d drive that's the source where i should copy copy the file to e drive file to e drive and now let me check in e drive the data is available or not go and check in e drive data came no right just demonstrating file input stream file output stream i am demonstrating file input stream file output stream i am demonstrating got it right here is the part suppose uh, anyway here program demo file 1 dot java output suppose i given wrong input here suppose i given wrong input here so this one i given wrong location i give invalid path or file name answer is coming or not now figure wrongly it go and check that is it goes to d drive it goes to images and check the file not there no it says the file is not there may be wrong or anything that's a concept okay right so this is the first program demonstrating file input stream file output stream file input stream will read the data from the file file output stream will write the data to the file so on so right you want to break for 15 minutes or no need ha huh? only two programs are pending one program demonstrating uh, file writer file right okay see there next step is nothing but Uh, the following are some classes related to binary string related to character string so there are some classes related buffered reader file reader file writer i use one program i'll give a break and it 10 minutes 10 minutes i'll give it wait it let my coffee come right and i want a break and whether you want or not i don't know but i want break i cannot speak continuously more than one and a half hour headache will come okay right so i'll take 10 minutes and i'll come not now let them come okay right so the plan is like this nothing is there you got one small information now 
based on this uh, character stream i write one program so to give information about the character stream data after that major concept is serializable actually serializable means converting our object into binary and recording that is a major file right so that concept is ended means we can close today that's a major so let me write steps here for 5 minutes and i'll give a break to you buffer reader uh, buffer reader class is from java.io package and which is used to read character character stream data to java program buffer reader class is from java.io package and uh, which is program so syntax buffered reader br is equal to new buffered reader of new input stream new input stream reader of system dot in if not to source you write you write source you can write system dot in also you can read from the keyboard also using buffer reader like scanner class you can read with buffer reader but a very old one we are not using that buffer reader only in colleges they use i think buffer reader file reader as if like file input stream file reader class is from java dot io package and which is used to find the file and opens the file to read character stream data as if like you were file input stream file reader fr is equal to new file reader of file path and file name file writer file writer class is from java dot io package and is used to which is used to create new file and create new file and opens the file to write character character stream data stream data now syntax file writer fw is equal to new file writer of file path and file name
Now using this file reader and file writer. So let us write one program, 10 minutes. After that, serialization. Anyway, can you take a break and come now? Right, after 10 minutes, you walk here and there and come. 10, 15 minutes. So 10, 15 minutes, you take 9, 40 it is. You take 10 to 15 minutes and come. Okay, right.
from console read data from console and write read read data from console and write data to a file read data from the console and write the data to the file write data to the file so reading from console and writing on to file that's the meaning actually so for this this program is moving the moving the file from one location to another location here i used one file i'll give the definition about file in the last okay right the definition about read and write anyway that methods are common reading and writing so online students can you hear my voice say yes or not okay demo file to import java dot io import java dot e dot print stack trace now i am connecting the keyboard nothing but the console to connect the keyboard today i am using buffer reader buffered reader br is equal to new buffered reader of new input stream reader of system dot in like this so connecting to the console anyway here also you can write br dot read you can sorry uh, br dot close as if like scanner you can close it somebody asked me somewhere sir other than scanner class is there to read the data from the keyboard that is buffer reader but we never give priority for these two classes the reason in servlet programming they are not available whenever you want to read data from the web browsers these two components are not available so we give a less priority for them but other than scanner class you can read the data by using buffer reader okay right now after connecting from the keyboard now i'll create one file now where i should create one file now in e drive images in e drive images i will create one file file sum f is equal to new file of like this so text text dot txt so this file object is holding one path only path e drive images text dot txt one path right okay now this path i am giving for file writer file writer fw is equal to new file writer 
of f this one creating file this is going to create a file because file writer will create a new file create a new file where it creates a new file now in e drive images one file name is text.txt one file is created of course at the ending we are closing them f dot close in between we are reading from the keyboard and loading on to file that all we are going to do whenever you want to read from the keyboard now that is character because from the keyboard character data will come okay right for this i am writing system dot out dot print ln enter the data right at the rate of at end sir what is the meaning of it means when the data is coming from the keyboard unlimited when you are you are reading in the form of a stream unlimited it will not stop you can enter unlimited data we only should terminate the data how means at the rate of if you type at the rate of at the ending termination happens so that is a defined format huh? no it is a user defined format i am only writing one while loop i will stop the while loop when you entered at the rate of see there so i am running one while loop while loop here in the while loop now i will take c h c h 1 is equal to b r dot read ah, where is that b r dot read that b r dot read method will take the character and convert into ascii value actually so that ascii value again should you convert into char this is syntax and which is not at the rate of if it is not equal to at the rate of the loop will be running while loop if it is equal to at the rate of it terminates so we are running the loop to unlimited until you enter at the rate of it's a concept whatever the data you are entering on to ch1 you write it fw dot write of ch1 means writing the data to file writing the data to file so we are reading the data from the keyboard until at the rate of comes and writing the data to the file so who is creating file now file writer is creating the file and opening the file where it is creating the file now in e drive images text dot txt one file created actually the file is not available here text dot txt file not available whenever i execute the program text dot txt file is created now let us see okay sir the data is recorded i'll keep one message here system dot out dot print ln data stored successfully data stored in file successfully over once the data has been stored here you have to read the data now system dot out dot print ln display the data display the data from file so again you are trying to display the data the data stored in the fw fw means this path e drive images text stored i closed it now i am displaying whenever i want to display the data again i have to read the data back whenever i want to read the data back again i am taking int k i am taking 
whenever i am reading the data from the file i am taking integer whenever i am reading the data from the keyboard i am taking character this is character input that is numeric output means zeros and ones bytes will come out so here open the file now how file reader file reader fr is equal to new file reader of f of f now this is opening the file this is going to open the file file reader no opening the file at the ending you must close it anyway after opening the file we have to display the file for that while loop end of loop here k k is equal to fr dot read which is not equal to minus 1 whenever you are reading the data from the file it is minus 1 and file is minus 1 If it is minus one here system dot out dot print print k now fr dot read also it will take ascii data only you must want to see the data convert into char simply you can say reading the data from the file. and displaying to console you are displaying displaying to console console means coming out now this is the program see there i'll repeat it this is the location where file should be created using file writer we are creating the file we are reading the data from the keyboard and writing the data to the file after writing has been completed now we are displaying the data from the file whenever you want to display the data from the file we have to open the file after opening from the file now we are trying to read the data from the fr if it is not equal to minus 1 means until end of the file display the data to console because print method is there no right so like this enter the data java program task thread int char get unlimited and it keep on reading the data it will not stop because it is a stream data now continuous flow now we have to end it at the rate of if i entered at the rate of now the while loop will be stopped reading will be stopped the data is displayed so data stored in file successfully and display the data from file go and look it the file is created can you see file created now text dot txt file create just a demo purpose file reader file writer character stream file output stream file input stream that's for images in the place of image audio file video file animation you can try the data will work i am loading image no you can transfer image or audio file or video file or animation file you can transfer for text data we work with character stream that's a concept so that is the concept here program demo file to dot java this is the output so one program for see there one program for file input stream file output stream one program for file reader file writer file reader file writer will work with the character stream 
file output stream file input stream will work with audio video image animation if you want text also it will work that's a meaning so introducing these four classes very important from core remember them somewhere we are going to use in the future so concept right so in the above program i used one class make it define file class file class is from java dot io package file class is from java dot io package and which is used to find the properties the properties of file like file length file path file exists or not like this there are some methods available related to file file class is from java dot io package and which is used to find which is used to find the file properties file properties like which is used to find the file properties like file length file path file exist or not and so on so file is a built in class again see there i'll open that file class there are many methods available in the file class java p java dot io dot by so file one class has many methods where is that exists file length is there file delete is there if you write fis dot delete the file will be deleted you can delete it so delete on exit the meaning when the file when the program deleted automatically the file also deleted so writeable or not readable or not how many total spaces how many free spaces like this if you want to know about the file the file class will support you majorly we use file class for file length this method we are going to use it file length especially in your applications and any job applications are there nowadays group 1 group 2 group 3 applications they are uploading i think they have to upload their photograph when they want to upload a photograph some size will be there 20 kb 50 kb if you insert more than 50 kb error will come so how they will know that is crossed 50 kb means the method file length means whenever you select the file now this file will hold that file path initially file f dot length equal to equal to 50 kb or less than or equal to 50 kb greater than 20 kb they'll keep one condition if we cross the condition we'll give error so length method is playing a role we are also going to use that length method in the future okay right so these are some important methods no need to remember it two methods remember one method length one method exist fine available or not i want to know what is the length of the file these two methods you must know now syntax for it is syntax for it is file f is equal to new file of file path and file name we are going to give it
19. Now note, in the above programs, I used one minus one. Minus one in Java represent, represent end of file. Minus one in Java represent end of file. Minus one in Java represent end of file. Represent end of file. Generally in C languages, they write EOF. If you know C language, they'll write EOF. In Python, I don't know what they will write it. In C language, they'll write EOF. For us, minus one. Minus one means the end of language. Language different will be there because so in our language we had minus one is the end of file. Okay, right. Now, anyway, remember file output stream, file input stream, file writer, file reader. They are all knowledge purpose. Actually, we came into this unit. The reason serialization. We came to this unit. The concept is serialization. We came here. Make it very important inter question. Define serialization process. FAQ. Define serialization process. Define serialization process. Define serialization process. So we are object oriented programmers. Object oriented programmers means they create some object. Object oriented programmers will create some object. They will keep the data here they will store some data to get this data outside we use one getter method we add this data to it we have a setter method not only getter method setter method this is object so object will hold some data so because of this reason sometimes we write object is a storage object is a memory suppose if you take one RAM like this, if you take one RAM, our original machine RAM, their VLC player added, some notepad added. They are like small, small memories, part of RAM memory. RAM is some 8 GB is there. VLC player will be sitting somewhere. Notepad will be sitting somewhere. Small, small, short memories are created, no? Right, here also same. Heap area. Among that heap area, small, small memories are created. One, one memory belong to one, one class. That only objects. Right? Finally, object means one small storage where I can keep the data. This object belongs to employee means employee data. The object belongs to some student means student data. The object belongs to book means book data. So two major methods actually. One for setting the data to object. One from getting the data to object. Getting, from, getting the data from the object. Up to now we are okay. That only different, different way we practiced. Right? Already you know there are three ways to add the data by using setter method or object name or constructor you know no already right okay now somewhere we have to send this data on the network object oriented programmer has to send this object on the network you have to send it why means object oriented programming through java you are a web application developer or enterprise application developer for you the applications are in the internet world in the internet world network is playing a role no on the network the object should be traveled no other choice the object should be traveled so in this whenever i want to make this object to travel on the network object cannot travel on the network object cannot travel on the network because of this reason 
we have to convert that object into stream that is the rule we have to convert that object into stream stream means 0 and 1 or some flow so when you are converting that object into stream what kind of stream means binary stream we are going to convert the object into binary stream why binary stream character stream is not preferable other than text data so object is converted into binary stream the process which is used to convert object state object state the meaning object holding data method something object state into binary stream is known as serialization that's the concept so object oriented programmer not only creates object he can convert that object into binary stream the reason to move on the network whenever you want to know it is converting into binary stream first you must have a basics about binary stream no that is the basics you have collected binary stream means what character stream means what what are the classes available that is a basic thing you collected so with that basic thing now we are converting our object into binary stream make it the process the process of converting object state into binary stream object state into binary stream is known as serialization process is known as serialization process the process of converting object state into binary stream is known as serialization process serialization process right to perform this serialization process there is one built in method available for us there is one built in method available known as write object already one method is there for us we are going to use that method make it we use we use write object method we use write object method from java dot io dot object output stream object output stream class to perform to perform serialization process to perform serialization process we use underline the term i want underline the method write object underline object output stream so we use write object method from java.io. object output stream class to perform serialization process right how to use this write object method generally the write object method so we are demonstration is like this now actually our object should be recorded to the network actually but here in core java we don't have a network concept in core java we don't have a network concept in advance we had a network concept there are already generic servlets http servlets automatically they are doing the work of serializations in the real time so what have to do now sir this object state must be converted into binary stream should be converted into binary stream this binary stream i am going to load into one file storage i am going to load into one file storage i'll convert this object state into binary stream i'll record this binary stream into one file storage all of you got it now so whenever i want to convert this object into binary stream i am using write object now after converting into binary stream whenever i want to record into file storage i am using file output stream just now you practice you no know, file output stream so the syntax is like this the syntax is file output stream 
FOS is equal to new file output stream. File output stream sum F. Sir, what is that F? F is holding some file path. F is holding some file path. Using that file output stream, we create this file. Right? After creating a file now, here we are creating object output stream object output stream ovs is equal to new object output stream object output stream so that object output stream linking to fos linking to fos means this object output stream linking to fos and using that object output stream, we are using right object, right object, and here object name. So, which object you are recording? Now, this is a syntax. Now, the right object method will convert that object into binary stream and record into one file here for demo purpose. Let's go and record into one file. Record into one file. So whatever the object state available in the form of a binary stream, record into file storage. Again, I must take this stream outside. I must take this stream outside. Whenever I want to take the stream outside now, this is file input stream. We are bringing into application again. Sir, why you are taking stream outside again now? Again, I want to generate the object. Again, the object should come out. Why object should come out, sir? Example, in the network mode now, I am sending object from one source. Destination has to take that object or not now. Whenever you want to take the object, the data is available in the form of a stream. Again, you have to convert that stream into object. Means object into stream, stream into object. Whenever you are converting stream into object, we call it as deserialization. Coming back again. So define deserialization process. Define deserialization process deserialization process again you are getting back the data deserialization process again you are converting that stream data into object state again that's called deserialization the process the process of converting the process of converting binary stream into object state binary stream into object state is known as deserialization deserialization process the process of converting binary stream into object state is known as deserialization process deserialization process again you have to convert back again of course i am working with file storage for demo in core in the network format i'll show this deserialization again in the servlet programming we had a cookie session track the cookie session track means the cookie created by the server send on the network it travels all the way on the network and sit in your web browser daily happening you open your www.nareshit.com, new batches to access that. It will one message will come. For fast performance, for better performance, accept the cookie. You will click on OK or not now. Means what? The cookie will come and sit in your web browser. That is cookie session track. The cookie is object traveled from the server. That object traveled and Gmail account that only all your educational websites are cookie session tracks. You take Naresh IT, you access Naresh IT is using cookie session track. 
So it will ask one for better performance or for fast performance, I accept the cookie. Somebody will say cancel, somebody will say okay. Cancel means first time, I am second time we will not access. Every time I want to access, click on okay, the cookie will come. Next time when you connect it, very fastly it connects because cookie is available there. That cookie is nothing but object traveled on the network. In core Java, I cannot show network mode, no? For me, choice is only file. So I'm putting in the file, I'm bringing from the file. Okay, right. So it's called deserialization. Now, to perform this deserialization, we use, we use read object method. We use read object method from java.io.object input stream object input stream class we use read object method from java.io.object input stream class to perform to perform deserialization deserialization process deserialization process syntax again file input to stream you have to get the data from the file again file input stream is equal to new file input stream of some f now object object input stream ois is equal to new object input stream of new object input stream of fis using this ois dot read object automatically the stream is converted into one object that is o so return type is object object means java dot lang dot object one object is returned back again the object will come out one is serialization one is deserialization Can I write the program? Serialization, deserialization. We'll take a program. Right. I am taking one class. The class is register. One class I am taking register. One class I am taking register. So normal user defined class I am taking now. This user defined class, I will take one string, username I will take it, password I will take it, first name I will take it, last name I will take it. So here I will take one more field as date t. date t i am taking date time import java dot util so date and time indirectly i am taking date time i am taking so the registration happened on which date and what time that's one variable i am taking okay right i'll take one constructor here public register register string username string password string first name string last name date 
date and time. This dot username is equal to your name. This dot password is equal to password. This dot first name is equal to first name. This dot last name is equal to last name. Here public string two string one method to display the data so return some username username is equal to some u name Password is equal to some password. Last name is equal to last name. First name. Last name is equal to last name. Date and time. Means on which date and time registration happened. The small information. This is one class. This is one class. I took one class. The class object will be created the class object will be created this object will have first name last name ah username no username password then date and time to display the data we had a get string Using that get string method, we are going to display. Ah, get string at two string. Ah. Two string. Now, I must record this into one file. Our target is. I must record this into one file. So this one I'll take some OB one. So using constructor, I will load the data. So first name, some Venkat. Here, username, nit.v. Password, mjdu672. First name, Venkat. Last name, m. This date and time will be taken from your system directly. Whenever I execute the program, Directly the system date and time will be taken. Not only date class takes. Okay, right. Now I must load this into one file. Now obj obj data dot txt. I must load this data here. This obj I must load here into one file. Must load it into one. The data should be loaded there. It's a target. The data should be loaded there. So I must convert into stream and load into one file. 
is a target. So from this file again, I must take the object back. From this file, again I must bring that object back. I must bring that object back. Again, the object should come. Again, the same object should come out with another name OB2, roughly. Okay, right. The object should come out. Loading into the file and coming out. Okay, right. So this one I will maintain one program. This one I will do one program. This one I will do another program. This one I will do another program. This one I'll do another. One is serialization, one is deserialization. This one, deserialization. This is serialization. So here I'll do serialization, right? Two programs I'll do separately. Right? Okay. See there, I am doing serialization. So here, example program. Here I took register dot java one now i am going with demo serialization dot java i am taking one demo serialization dot java for this i am taking right click here new class demo serialization demo serialization in this demo serialization import java dot util try catch exception e e dot print stack trace import java dot io here i am taking scanner yes is equal to new scanner of system dot in yes dot close here System dot out dot print ln enter the user name. Enter your user name. Now string user name is equal to yes dot next line. Enter the password. Enter the password. Password. Enter the username and enter the password. Okay, right. Here, enter the first name. F-I-R-S-T. First name. Enter the last name. Now create object for register R. R O B one is equal to new register. New register of username, password, first name last name now an object is created spelling mistake huh? constructor register
ah okay correct only here new date i must create a date or not now see there whenever i say new date now this is constructor again it takes automatically system date and time will be taken okay right now once the object creation completed this object creation completed this one after object creation completed now file f is equal to new file of i must record the file here in e drive images here in e drive images i want to create obj data dot txt so file is holding one path now this obj data path now i am using file output stream f o s is equal to new file output stream of f now here file created new file created because this ob data dot txt file created after that object output stream object output stream ovs is equal to new object output stream of fos object output stream object output stream here object output stream ovs is equal to new object output stream got it right see there now using this ovs dot write object ob1 ah write object object ob1 this is serialization process now this object this object i am writing on to this file as a concept now if i run this program one file is created obj dot txt in that obj dot txt object is stored so what i am giving the information to you up to now object is one storage to you now i am moving that object to storage to file i am moving that i am showing to you not only in, not to the file only i can move to the database also in database also we show actually not in jdbc somewhere we find the situation and show that so object state can be moved to one permanent storage i am moving the file right okay now it is happening or not i am running the program by 10:54 am i am running so user is registering by 10:54 am right i am doing registration username nit.v mzu672 first name is sam venkat last name is m ah. sir why exception came right why exception came means whenever we want to perform serialization deserialization to perform serialization deserialization make a statement to perform serialization to perform serialization and deserialization process to perform 
serialization and deserialization process the user defined the class the user defined class must be implemented from must be implemented from java.io.serializable interface to perform serialization and deserialization process the user defined class must be implemented from java.io.serializable interface that should be linked to serializable interface if it is linked to serializable interface then the serialization happens now see there now the user defined class what we take and register must be implements from serializable must be implements from serializable serializable will come from where now sir import java dot io coming or not now this is realization here one warning is there suppress warnings close that warning type now perform serialization you have to close this ovs dot close now run it now i am running the program by 1057 i am running right user name again nit.v mzu672 sum venkat and m i forgot to give the message object stored successfully i must write one message object stored successfully i must write it now regarding over actually here message should come actually here System dot out dot print ln. Here the message is object stored successfully. Stored successfully. Go and check it. Here OBJ data came or not now? OBJ data one sixty six bytes data. Open it. This one. unreadable format because byte stream no character stream means you can read it it's a byte stream data you cannot read that object object converted into stream unreadable format now object state is available there already so the object is sitting there so here for this the output is here message will come object stored successfully once the object is stored successfully then we are going with deserialization because the data is available in the file now we have to see that file now you have to see that file for this i am doing deserialization from this read the data back right now demo deserialization process dot java demo deserialization dot java i am writing the program reversely now here demo demo deserialization process deserialization right see that now import java dot io so try catch exception e A dot print stack trace. Here, I must read the file from the same location, no? Right. So for this file input stream, this one file input stream 
fis is equal to new file input stream of f now object input stream ois is equal to new object input stream of fis now ois dot read object read object now the object is coming out now this is deserialization serialization process now return type of this is object ob2 actually this is the data came out actually okay right when the data came out here now system dot out dot print ln user details user details i am printing ob2 dot to string i am printing now ois dot close so i am opening the file from here i am reading the object converting into object object means parent parent of all the classes java dot lang dot object now the time is 11 to 11 to am i executed the program 1057 right that from 1057 i registered the data i am seeing the data by 11 to right sir what about two string here convert into register it is not showing that convert into register register ois dot read object ob2 ob2 dot to string ah i must display it now system dot out print ln or not no need to convert to register this is object form only date and time null sir at last it not taken the time sir right okay see there let me cross check sir null value is coming why null value is coming date and time date date time i not assigned the data here date time i forget write this i not assigned this dot this dot date and time is equal to date and time i forget write this line i again i must run the first program now it is 11 4 i am running the first program serialization run it user name raj password r r r first name raj last name kumar object stored successfully right now perform deserialization now let me run it now it is 11 5 11 4 i executed 11 5 Ah, what happened? Again, I done some mistake. One minute. Register. Spelling mistake. Ah. Constructor. 
डेट टाइम वन मिनिट वन मिनिट वन मिनिट वॉट यू आर स्पीकिंग आई एम नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दिस मैन पीपल डेट टाइम ओके ओके अगेन आई मस्ट रन इट run it so raj r r r r raj kumar right stored successfully i want date and time to come out now deserialization i am running let me change the time 11 6 it is right 11 7 run it at last came and right So what is now, sir? Date and time is Sunday, April twenty-four, eleven six. Some IST. It is taking automatically system date and time. Now it is recording it. Okay, right. Now. both are different names no i am changing the output so date and time is coming out as an output so what is the information through this program sir as a object oriented programmer if i want to move my object state on the network it should be available in the form of binary stream is a concept in core java i cannot move on the network no so i temporarily placed that object in one file and from there i am reading the file here you have to catch the concept the methods are supported you write object method will do serialization read object method will do deserialization make it what is the advantage of serialization process 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 through serialization process through serialization process we can convert we can convert object state object state into binary stream object state into binary stream through serialization process we can convert object state into binary stream and which can which can be moved on network which can be moved on network from source to destination source to destination that's a major advantage all of you got it now because of this reason wherever it is linked to serializable in your notes says wherever the hierarchies are there wherever it is linked to serializable that all objects can move on the network that all objects can move on the network the information
So this is the information for today. Understood and right. Okay. So see there, 6 p.m. people for you, one hour class is pending still. Okay, right. Conclusion. One hour to one hour, 15 minutes to one hour, 20 minutes class pending. Conclusion class that is. Okay, right. The conclusion class on next Sunday through online, not offline. Okay, right. I'll update the link in your Google Classroom again by uh, Sunday or Saturday evening. I'll update it. We are meeting on next Sunday, 6 p.m. people. Next Sunday, we are meeting for again morning, 7 o'clock only class. Online conclusion. Okay, right. Conclusion. I'll show all the objects and I'll conclude it. Right. 9 a.m. Sorry, 7 a.m. people. Tomorrow you had 20 minutes discussion on files conclusion. 7 a.m. people. Tomorrow 7 a.m. Normally morning 20 25 minutes conclusion is there in the files and we are going with our chapter right can we take a break for today right okay thank you very much for sunday don't scold me i said 12 o'clock i am leaving by 11 o'clock happy only no yes or no na that is student psychology and student psychology if i say 10 o'clock if i leave by 10 15 they'll scold me i prepared your mindset to 12 no I am leading 11 o'clock means Venkata Sar is very good, you will say. Right. Anyway, thank you very much for today. Thank you.